Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will talk about quantum physics past paper question. In this lesson, I'll explain you how to calculate momentum and energy of a photon. And also, I will explain to you how energy is conserved when a photon is incident on an electron. And how to calculate angle between deflection photon and electron for this question it is given to us that a photon is incident on an electron and electron is initially just sitting here means its initial velocity is equal to zero and this is given in the question here after this photon collide with electron photon is deflected at certain angle and angle is also given here wavelength of deflected photon is given and wavelength of incident photon is also given if we compare the wavelength of deflected photon with wavelength of incident photon uh, we will simply see that the wavelength of deflected photon is greater than wavelength of incident photon we also understand energy of a photon that is simply equal to at c over lambda so from here we can conclude that energy of incident photon is greater than energy of deflected photon uh, so it simply means that incident photon has lost some energy and that energy has been transferred to this electron and if we look at this overall setup simply we can understand is that it is like two particles they are colliding with each other one particle is gaining kinetic energy and one particle is losing energy and this whole setup is called Compton scattering experiment this experiment showed that light behaves as a particle. Now, let's try to answer part A now. For part A, simply we need to calculate momentum for the incident photon. Momentum we understand simply is equal to h over lambda. And h here is a Planck's constant. And we can find out from data table. And uh, lambda is wavelength of incident photon we simply just need to plug in these values and we can calculate value of momentum so here you can see i have just plug in values of planck's constant and wavelength and here is our final answer for this part simply we need to calculate energy of incident photon it simply means we need to find energy of this photon and for this photon its wavelength is given to us and energy is simply equal to hc over lambda so this is lambda of incident photon so h is constant this is Planck's constant c is also constant we simply need to plug in value of these quantities and we can calculate energy of incident photon quite straightforward one so if we plug in values of h and c and lambda for incident photon then this is energy of incident photon for part b question is simply asking us we need to calculate the value of angle theta and it is a formula is given to us if we look at this one formula everything is given to us we simply need to plug in values delta lambda that is given to us this is the change in wavelength of the photon h here is the Planck's constant and c is the speed of light in free space and me this is mass of electron me is mass of electron so this is also given to us me is mass of electron and this also we can find in data table now simply what we need to do is we just need to use this formula and we need to plug in values of all these quantities and then we will be able to find value of angle this angle theta now just plug in values and find answer 
so here you can see i have already done these calculations and you can see here after calculations i have found this is over final value of theta and this lambda this is actually lambda of deflected photon uh, that is given here lambda of deflected photon and here is lambda of incident photons so this is lambda of incident photon if we plug in values we will get our final answer and this is value of theta now let's move on to second part now for the second part, we need to use energy considerations to suggest why delta lambda must always be positive. So this is simply based on energy conservation and the hint is also given to us here. Uh, we need to use energy considerations, mean we have to answer this question based on conservation of energy as we have already seen here when this photon means this incident photon when this will collide with this electron electron will gain some kinetic energy so in this deflection a photon is losing energy and electron is gaining kinetic energy so the energy of photon will decrease and when energy of photon decreases its lambda has to increase as we simply understand e is equal to hc over lambda if energy of photon goes down lambda has to increase so lambda increase it simply means that lambda of deflected photon will always be greater than lambda of incident photon so we can simply say delta lambda will always be positive so this will always be positive so here is our final answer so this is how you need to write answer so simply you need to say that during the deflection electron also get deflected and electron gain some energy from the photon so deflected photon has less energy and therefore deflected photons has longer wavelength and that's the reason change in lambda is always positive just you need to use law of conservation of energy